Hello, and welcome to today's Five and Five, where we look at five books from five different genres in five minutes. With spring just around the corner, everything is blooming, regrowing, and experiencing a rebirth. So this month, we're going to be looking at reimagined, remade, and retold familiar stories. Our first retold story today is Joseph and the Way of Forgiveness by Stephen Mitchell. In this retelling of the famous biblical story about Joseph, his amazing colored coat, and his journey towards forgiving his brothers, Mitchell offers us a riveting novelistic style look at Joseph, how he, the favored son of Jacob, is sold into slavery by his jealous older brothers, only eventually to rise to power in Pharaoh's house, and how he manages to save all of Egypt. This story captures one of the original stories of the deepest betrayal and shows how Joseph was able to eventually forgive his brothers and move forward in acceptance. If you struggle with forgiveness and acceptance, this inspiring tale might just be the right story for you. If you liked reading You'll Get Through This by Max Lucado or The Prodigal Prophet by Timothy J. Keller, then you will enjoy Joseph and the Way of Forgiveness. This book is only available in regular print. Our next reimagined familiar story is A Study in Scarlet Women by Sherry Thomas. This reimagined tale takes the familiar story of Sherlock Holmes and flips it on its head. What if Sherlock was really just a repressed Victorian female whose brilliance and awkwardness are seen as a negative instead of a positive? This reimagined mystery will have you on the edge of your seat waiting for the next book in this great series. In this story, Charlotte Holmes has to reinvent herself when she's kicked out of her home for being a loose and immoral woman. Then London is struck by a trio of unexpected deaths and suspicion falls on her sister and her father. Charlotte, under the assumed name Sherlock Holmes, is desperate to find the true culprits and clear the family knave and save her sister. If you liked The Daughter of Sherlock Holmes by Leonard S. Goldberg or the Enola Holmes mystery series by Nancy Springer, then you will love this delightful new series. This book is available in regular and large print, audiobook and ebook and e-audio formats. Our next retold classic is Mythos, the Greek myths reimagined by legendary actor, writer, and comedian Stephen Fry. In this collection of short stories, Fry retells the classic Greek myths with wit and humor. Greek myth fans will appreciate his fresh yet referential take on the old favorites, while those reading them for the first time will enjoy his informative take on Zeus and other classic Greek characters. If you end up enjoying Fry's mythos, then you should read his subsequent books, The Odyssey, Troy, and Heroes, where he looks at several more myths to reimagine. These retold stories are witty and engaging and will soon make you a fan of Greek mythology. You will enjoy this book if you enjoyed reading Neil Gaiman's Norse Mythology or Natalie Haynes' Pandora's Jar, Women in the Greek Myths. Mythos is available in regular print, ebook, and e-audio formats. All the Ever Afters, the untold story of Cinderella's stepmother by Danielle Teller, takes the classic and familiar story of Cinderella from a different perspective. How did the evil stepmother become the evil stepmother? Was she truly evil from the beginning or just misunderstood and maligned? In this story, Agnes, the eventual stepmother to Cinderella, traces her own personal history from a child sent off to be a servant at a young age to a single mother to the nursemaid to an otherworldly infant who will eventually become her stepdaughter. As Agnes slowly progresses and improves her position in life through hard work and determination, she tries to show her own daughters, and now her spoiled stepdaughter, that life sometimes requires hard work. This tale will feel familiar, but fresh. Books similar to All the Ever Afters are The Fairest of Them All by Carolyn Turgeon and Wicked by Gregory Maguire. All the Ever Afters is available in regular print, audiobook, and e-book format. Our final reimagined story is based on the classic Alice in Wonderland adventures. L.L. McKinney's story, A Blade So Black, is a young adult fantasy version of this beloved children's tale. In this modern day version, Alice is a strong young black female who has to battle monsters in Wonderland, a dark dreamland that Atlanteans sometimes find themselves dreaming about. Since Alice suddenly finds herself able to see the monsters as they creep around Atlanta, this marks her as a being who can not only send the monsters back to Wonderland, but kill them. 
As she is trained by Addison Hatter in martial arts and self-defense, her world is forever changed as she is forced to travel into Wonderland herself. If you liked The Evil Queen by Gina Showalter or Legend Born by Tracy Dion, then you will love this new version of an old story. A Blade So Black is available in regular print, audiobook, ebook, and e-audio formats. Thank you for joining us today for Five and Five. Please visit the library for more suggestions of reimagined, remade, or retold stories. We would be happy to help you find your next great read. Join us next month where we will look at a collection of biographical fiction books.